Hello and welcome once again to the Kit Plus Daily. It's Wednesday the 22nd of April 2020 and the three of us are once again in our virtual studio. We like to say at the beginning of every show we are social distancing and uh, believe it or not we are we are all working at home. That's right. Uh, normally, this time of year, it would be the last day at NAB. And as Simon said yesterday, by now we would literally be on our knees. The Las Vegas Convention Centre is huge, but despite this, we do miss it. And we send our regards to the staff and our friends at NAB in this difficult time. And exhibitions, of course. Very topical, you know. We've all we're all suffering in these uh, uh, awkward times, uh, but especially those involved in the exhibition uh, uh, business. Um, one such company is, of course, Exhibition Freighting, who we thought deserved a bit of a shout out. They're offering a great service uh, to those in the industry that are do, uh, you know actually doing the exhibitions. Uh, they're offering it free of charge for three months. Uh, it's their pick and pack service, uh, where your marketing materials and your promo products can all be stored in, in their facilities and picked off as and when you need it. Um, there's uh, there's more information in the details below. So, uh, yeah, and now on to the news. Yeah, and the first up with the news is NCAM Technologies, who are a leading developer of real-time augmented reality technology. And they've just announced the availability of the new MK2 camera bar, MK2 server and MK Reality 2020 software. Um, it was first shown as a prototype at IBC 2019, and the MK2 camera bar has undergone significant development and enhancement since then. Uh, the NCAM R&D team not only further developing the hardware platform, but also redesigning uh, the software that accompanies it. The MK2 camera bar itself not only leverages the Intel RealSense hardware, uh, but has also been heavily modified to perfectly suit the most demanding broadcast and film environments. This means it's now smaller, lighter, and able to mount more flexibly uh, to an even greater variety of camera rigs, with the result that it can be used with a jib, steady cam, wire, and even with drones. Very good. Now, under the best of circumstances, remote workflows are challenging for big teams. But what happens when you need to quickly implement a working from home scenario? Why not join Frame.io and industry leaders from Fox Sports and CBS and Showtime tomorrow, uh, Thursday, the April the 23rd at 12 p.m. That's specific time, so I'll let you work out for your time zone. Uh, you'll hear how organizations with some of the biggest post-production video pipelines have pivoted effectively. Um, and don't forget, you can also check out other uh, webcasts at broadcastnetworks.co.uk uh, for more sessions on there. More big news. Big news this week is the new Canon C300 Mark III been announced, been released, is available. Uh, it's uh, got a brand new 4K sensor with DGO, that's dual gain output, not to be confused with dual ISO, something different. Obviously, there's details about that in, de in detail uh, elsewhere. But it allows 16 stops of dynamic range. Uh, I'm told ideally shot at log two with 800 ISO. Uh, and it will also shoot 4K at 120 frames per second in raw light and XFAC, XFAVC. Um, all while offering the quite clever dual focus, uh, sorry, dual pixel autofocus. And it's available online now. Uh, it's uh, £8,479. Brilliant. Sounds good. Uh, well, now it's time for today's special guest. So, welcome, Avon Monteroso from Dejero. Great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Brilliant. So, um, obviously, there's a global pandemic going on at the moment, and you guys are very much up for supporting broadcasters and news organisations around the world because you are offering access to Dejero's Live Plus mobile app. So tell us a bit about that. Yes, our customers are being highly creative in getting the news produced and sharing it with their viewing audience. Uh, as the importance of social distancing became apparent and anticipating some of the challenges our customers were likely to have, we felt like the right thing to do in the current environment to start giving away the apps for free. They're very easy to deploy and can 
quickly be made available to anyone. Um, and so it, it feels good as a company to be able to be helping our customers in this way as they're keeping everyone informed during this critical period. We've seen a, a fairly dramatic uptake in apps. Um, they were primarily used in the past for short live hits. And now we're seeing all the different presenters, anchors, meteorologists using them to capture the shows that they're doing directly from their homes with the apps. It's also been a great tool for news broadcasters to use to bring subject matter experts into their news broadcasts. Brilliant. So for those that are interested in obviously looking at Live Plus Mobile, how do they go about uh, getting access to it? Sure. So there's a link on our website or they can contact us uh, directly through our support line. Brilliant. Fantastic. So Yvonne, in this home setup scenario, uh, return video and teleprompter feeds are obviously key, just as it would be in any remote production. How has QPoint Return Feed Server been used in this scenario? And have you seen any new and inventive ways that reporters are using the tool in their home studios to keep uh, audience engagement? Yes, so many of our customers initially saw the QPoint as a tool that they would use strictly for remote production and events. Given the current situation, they essentially have a large number of anchors and reporters doing remote production every day. The return video is providing that low latency confidence feed for them to be able to make adjustments in near real time. The other key way that QPoint is being used is for teleprompter. So they're able to rig up their iPads and have them sitting there at eye level as they're uh, producing or, or transmitting their show and they're having those prompts being sent to them via the cue point. It's, it's really fun to see the way our customers are adapting and making their current situation work and whether it's with our products or how they're setting up their lighting um, and what their just general setup is uh, in order for them to get their information to viewers. It's just really neat to see. So yeah, thinking of the viewers now, uh, they obviously want to hear from the best experts. Uh, we understand that Tajiro has a tool called Find an Expert that provides the broadcasters with access to a global database of vetted experts. How does this tool work? And are you seeing broadcasters and reporters actually use it? The Find an Expert search capability is uh, based and powered by our partner Expert File. It's integrated directly into our portal, so customers can go into the portal and they can quickly search and find experts, not only about COVID-19 or infectious disease, but about a number of related topics from finance and economics to mental health, and really a whole range of other topics as well. Uh, the database is a real time saver for newsrooms as they're trying to produce these shows and bring in different voices into their broadcasts. The ability for them to bring in those different experts is really providing uh, additional credibility and enhancing the quality of their shows. Yvonne, so some anchors and uh, news reporters are using your gateway device uh, when they don't have connectivity at home, for example. Um, can you explain a little bit about how Digero Solutions can provide reliable connectivity, for example, ensuring reporters can um, stay on air during transmissions, live transmissions, etc. The Digero Gateway is designed to provide reliable connectivity anywhere. Initially, we had targeted this for the S&G trucks, but again, we're seeing those customers be very creative. With some of the anchors living in areas where their home connectivity is really poor, we've seen our, our broadcast customers pulling those gateways out of their trucks and putting them into people's homes. They're deploying them in the anchors' homes and then creating a more reliable and seamless type of connectivity for them. I think during this period of many of us working from home, we've all had those hiccups with our home internet. And when they're producing these shows, they really can't have the, the Wi-Fi hiccuping and interrupting their shows. So it becomes critical for them to supply this very reliable connectivity. With the performance of the gateway allowing for 150 to 200 megabits per second, our customers are able to remotely do more than even they ever thought possible. 
I did mention the, the live video over apps and receiving the return video or teleprompter feed earlier, but also more than that, they're able to use it for VPNing into the station to access files. Nobody wants to start downloading a large file and have their, in, their connection interrupted. So it's, it, it's really a time saver in terms of providing that reliable connectivity. I've talked to a number of stations over the last two weeks where their users are remoting into their desktops at work or the uh, station is actually sending the laptops or computers in home with the, the users. Um, it's certainly an interesting time and decisions and processes in these stations are being implemented in record time. Reliable connectivity is obviously what it's all about. And DeGiro's Engo 260 um, is considered to be uh, one of the world's most durable and versatile mobile transmitters. Uh, can you tell us a little bit uh, more about the product and how field crews um, are using it right now? We, we demoed the Engo 260 at IBC. I think I talked with you, John, about it. Um, we started shipping the units out in December of last year, and customers are loving the internal battery and the bigger screen size, but they're still uh, really appreciative of that rugged design that means it doesn't get chipped or broken the first time it comes out of the backpack when it gets bumped. This is probably more important now when access to de technicians is, is very difficult. Um, the Engo 260 can be used in the backpack or coming soon in the vehicle mount kit, which would have the external antennas for in a vehicle. Um, while folks are not traveling right now per se, it is very important to our customers that this unit has the globally compatible modems uh, for making international travel even simpler. And of course, the thing that matters most is video quality, our continued improvements in video quality and our ability to do content adaptive encoding to adjust to the complexity of the scene as well as the bandwidth is really a game changer and makes the Engo 260 a great choice for even the most challenging connectivity environments. It sounds like DeGiro is already doing an awful lot during this period of on. Um, is there anything you can add that DeGiro has been working to support broadcast customers even further in this current crisis? We have seen uh, challenges and stresses that our customers are facing. We've ramped up our support and our regular communications as well to ensure we're doing everything we can to help them carry on during this period. Even our support team is working from home and they're be reaching out to customers and helping first time users set up equipment in addition to the regular flow of events for our support team. We are sad not to have our usual meetings and discussions at NAB this year, but we continue to talk with our customers to see how we can best help them. We look forward to being able to see some of them and chat with them and hopefully the not too distant future. Yvonne, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on the Kit Plus Daily Show. And uh, yeah, we, we hope to catch up in person in the not too distant future. Thanks very much. Thank you. So you can catch up with hundreds, even thousands of video interviews that we've done with exhibitors at various trade shows around the world over the last 10 years. Um, and not only that, of course, but you can see how John's haircut has changed over the last decade. Thank you. And of course, if you are running any online events of your own, uh, if you've got uh, seminars, uh, training sessions or anything like the Frame IO event that John mentioned earlier, please go to broadcastnetwork.co.uk and add them. Of course, there's plenty on there already for you to go and see if you're a viewer. And uh, don't forget, it's all free, broadcastnetwork.co.uk. Brilliant. So that's it for today. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for more fun from uh, Kit Plus Daily. Um, do tweet us at Kit Plus UK if you have any questions or comments. Uh, also, if you want to, you can email us on the link which is shown on screen now. So that's it from today. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>